Hello all, welcome to a new Silly Point episode. Uh, in this episode, we're going to discuss something really, really exciting. Uh, the 100 tournament, uh, that is the ECB's brainchild. It's really exciting because there are some different rules. Um, uh, you know, we're going to see some good players battle it out. Um, so I, you know, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, four teams. We're going to talk about key players for them. You know, talk about um, you know what their chances of winning are, and we're briefly also going to talk about the new rules for this tournament. Um, as always, I've got Zahid here with me. Um, Zahid, excited about the tournament? Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, a new new format, uh, new exciting format. Let's see how much that that picks up. Um, you know, some some looking forward to seeing some some great players, uh, but. I'm not too sure about it, to be honest. I'm not sure why ECB have had this and the T20 Blast at the same time. I think they could have just had one. It's a bit of an overkill. Yeah. Um, or, or maybe even got rid of one whole domestic competition, right? They could have yeah. got 50 overs and just played the Blast and the 100, right? Yeah. Uh, um, but but like, you know, it should be an interesting one. It's always open to, to new experiments in cricket. Some very in, in, interesting rules. Yeah. Um, they've tried to make it a bit more... Americanized in a way, or more like popular to the public by having like timeouts and and things yeah. like that in there, strategic. Yeah. I don't know whatever. I mean, they're just mainly sponsor breaks, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I think some of the some of the differences. The the most obvious one is yeah. that it's going to be hundred balls. Yeah. Yeah. And the unit in which you count, uh, you know, in which you count how the innings as uh, you know how yeah. far the innings has progressed is balls. It's no yeah. longer overs. So we're going to look at five balls, ten balls. Um, and each each over, if you like, going forward, we're not going to use over. But each set consists of five balls. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, you know, uh, ten balls actually have to be bowled from one end, which again is a difference from our normal yeah. game. Um, and you could have one player bowl all those ten balls, or you could have two players bowl five balls each. Uh, yeah. Apparently, the umpire is going to the umpire is going to um, bring up a white card at the end of the first set of five balls. I don't know. It's it's yeah. you know it's, it's going to be exciting. It's something new, um, yeah. and I think really that's about it. And going forward, batsmen are going to be called batters, so basically gender neutral. Yeah, um, which is which is great. I also love the fact that the women's the women's tournament is going to happen concurrently to the men's yeah. tournament. Which is which is a really cool thing to happen. Um, I also like the fact that uh, uh, a chips company, a crisps company, is the sponsor of all the jerseys. Yeah. I'm really enjoying that as well, um, <laughs> and some really interesting, funky colors there. Um, yeah. uh, the other thing is yes, so the first 25 balls is going yeah. to be the power play, um, and like you said, teams can take a strategic timeout um, yeah. after those 25 balls. They can only take one. So yeah, I think at the end of the day, it's it's you know it's all about scoring the most number of runs or taking the most number of wickets, few yeah. tweaks and cosmetic changes. But I think the basics remain pretty much the same. Yeah, I think um, there's a couple of interesting rules. I think it's it's similar to like what you know there, there's a format in, in the UK called or I think worldwide called LMS Last Man Stands. Yeah. So that's also 100 balls, 20 overs in a way. With it's still five balls per set over whatever you call it. Yeah. Um, but also, there's, and it's, they have the same rule where I think if a batsman is caught, the non-striker needs to come back to the non-striker's end. Otherwise, they can be run out. Right. So, you can literally have two wickets for the same delivery. So, one batsman can be caught and the other one can yeah. be run out if they're at the other end. Yeah. So, that's a very interesting one because if the ball goes straight up in the air or goes to the fielder, the batsman shouldn't really cross. Yeah. Uh, unless the oh, non-striker oh. thinks that they can come back. Yeah. So, yeah. They, or, they, or they cross completely and make sure they don't get run out. Yeah, I think they get two runs for that if they do that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, it's the concept of the ball is always live, isn't it? Yeah, in a exactly. lot of indoor tournaments in the UK have a similar concept as well. So yeah. I like the fact that there's some innovation. It's something new. Let's see how the tournament progresses. Yeah, obviously, yeah, be... you know the the big news before the tournament has started is yeah. a lot of the big players have. Yeah, that's slightly disappointing. Out. Yes, because of COVID and the international schedule yeah. and the travel schedule and quarantine rules and whatnot. So the yeah. likes of David Warner, uh, Andre Russell, um, Glenn Maxwell, and Glenn Maxwell have unfortunately pulled out. But 
you know, I, I still think that, you know, this tournament is... Shine Shafiri also, I think, because he's going to the West Indies, yeah. Yes, true, true. Um, on that note, should we talk about some of the teams? Yeah. Uh, we're going to focus on the on the men's teams. Uh, yeah. Our of the women's uh, of the women's game is still quite limited. So, we'll focus on the men's. Um, should we talk about Trent Rockets first? Yeah, Trent Rockets. I think on paper, one of... I think one of the strongest teams uh, yeah. because they've got obviously Joe Root, uh, Rashid Khan. Ironically, they've got Joe Root and Alex Hales in the same team. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be good to see how, how the uh, how the dynamics work there and, and yeah. <laughs> if Alex Hales gets a chance to play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think they've got a very good team. I think very strong, very top yeah. heavy. I think uh, yeah. with Root, Darcy Short, uh, Alex Hales, Hales yeah. Lewis Gregory, yeah. who's been in phenomenal form, David Milan. Um, I was going to say that you know probably the 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 the, the surprise package in there for me is Luke Wright. I mean yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that he's still playing. He's still around. Luke Wright, Samit Patel. Yeah, these <laughs> the, the T20 around. league specialist. Yeah. Yeah. So so there is some experience there, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I think they've got you know they they've got a good chance of you know going all the way. Yeah, they're weak, weak. Uh, their bowling looks a bit weak. Wahab Riaz, I think he'll, he'll he'll come. He'll start. I don't know halfway because he's had some visa issues. Yeah. Uh, but among the others, I can't really pick a. I mean, Lewis Gregory and Rashid Khan, obviously. But their seam attack looks a little light. I think they're perfectly domestic. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. I mean, he probably some... has more knowledge than I do about yeah, yeah, Sam there, Cook there, and there some... <laughs> Ben Cox. Yeah, there are some uh, domestic performers. Ben Cox is a wicketkeeper. Uh, yeah. uh, you know. Um, Matthew Carter is an off-spinner. Luke yeah. Wood is a left-armer. Uh, you know, both Matthew Carter and Luke Wood play for Nottinghamshire. So, yeah. you know, they have they have that uh, local knowledge, if you like, um, yeah. for home games. So, yeah, I think a, an overall a pretty good team. Uh, I think a lot will rest on Rashid Khan. Yeah, obviously. Rashid Khan and Joe Root, I think. Joe Key Root. players, if you had to pick. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Lewis Gregory to see how he can... Uh, how he goes, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure about David Milan because clearly, you know, 100, you know, 100, 100 balls is more compressed yeah, than yeah. the 20s and he takes some time to get going. I don't know if you have that luxury in, in, the, in a 100 ball tournament. So, true. Not, not sure about him. Oh, fair. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's still a very good player. Uh, yeah, international experience, number one yeah. D20 batsman. So. Exactly. Um, ooh, and I should mention that uh, the stats for this tournament will count yeah. in the in your T20 stats in your overall oh, really? stats yes yes i read that oh, nice. so nice. so could hamper could hamper david malan yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. should we move on to southern, southern. brave yeah. this is the biggest blow for them was losing yeah. andre russell russell yeah yeah i know that's a big blow i mean Colin de grandom is good but he's not andre russell yeah i mean i love i love de grandom just for his hair i hope despite Despite what Russell did in that in the last in the in the T twenty in the four T twenty against Australia, yeah, where he didn't cross or he didn't take a single for like four balls when they needed eleven to win at the last over. <laughs> but I mean, uh, but 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 to be fair, just just arguably looking down looking down their batting, I just feel like it's even stronger than than uh, Trent Rockets because they've got Quinton de Kock, really? D1 yeah. Conway, they've got Conway obviously who's who's again yeah. a very strong batsman. Um, they've got CDG, obviously. They've got James Vince. Yeah. Uh, but I think the other teams is slightly form. stronger. I would I would put... Yeah. I mean, they've got Quinton de Gork and, and Conway who are... Like, they've got some international experience. I think domestically, Trent uh, Rockets were slightly stronger with Root and Hales and Gregory yeah. Milan. Fair enough. But, yeah, I um, agree. But definitely bowling is stronger here. Yeah, they've got a lot of pace in their bowling. Yeah, they've got Jordan, Timal Mills... Um, Archer, Overton, they've got Archer. So you know, certainly the the fast bowling attack looks better than than yeah. Trent Rockets. Liam Dawson yeah. is a good good all spinning all rounder. Yeah, so. good you know good all rounder. Danny Briggs was recently yeah. picked in the makeshift ODI eleven for England, in the ODI squad for England. Yeah. Um, so some some more experience there. Um, but yeah, you know, again difficult to say how they'll go. Um, yeah. But you know, at least their fast bowling is really strong. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's it's it's. I just feel that their batting is. I don't know. Again, it's it's going to be over relying on on Conway and QDK. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and then I'm not sure about the middle order. And then obviously they have Paul Nagarno coming at six or seven to finish yeah. things off. But I think the middle order to me just seems a little weak. Yeah. The, um, the only the, the kind of the surprise package, if you like, is a guy called Ross Whiteley. He 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 used to play for which team did he play for domestically? I, I can't quite remember. But he's one of those guys who can strike the ball from ball one. Like yeah. if you look at his strike rates over the first five ten balls of his innings. Um, you know they're they're very very good. So yeah. watch out for him in this in this team. One of G's hidden gems. <laughs> yes, yes. Should we move on to the Northern Superchargers? Yeah, um, and there seems to be a theme. I don't know, but I think Northern Superchargers to me on paper at least seemed a bit better balanced. I think any team with Ben Stokes in there will just have <laughs> balance in it. Exactly, uh, exactly. The guy the guy can do everything. So. You'd expect, you know, any team to have him to. Yeah. Because uh, they'll have uh, they'll have Faf and Christian at the top probably with uh, um, Ben Stokes and uh, uh, Collar Cadmore who did pretty well in the PSL uh, in, yeah, in the middle yeah. order. I'm surprised yeah. he didn't make the uh, make that B C team of England. I agree. Um, it was a good 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 chance there. Yeah. But um, we we we've, we've got two uh, two other players from that ODI squad. Yeah. We've got John Simpson. And we've got Bryden Cast. Yeah, Cast looked looked good in in the games that he played yeah. with John, both bat and ball. He's a handy yeah, batsman. Yeah, both. Well. Yeah, he's he's a he's quite a decent batter yeah. lower down the order. Um, and very yeah. strong spin attack. Yeah, Mujib and I was say Mujib and Rashid are you know really really good options. Um, yeah. So I think yeah, overall this team looks really strong. They've also got David Willey in there. Yeah, another, another handy batsman as well. He showed yeah, that he can yeah. bat a bit, and he's a good, yeah. you know, bowler up front. So yeah, they've got uh, you know Cars and and Willie, decent uh, fast bowlers. They've got obviously Rashid yeah. and Rashid and Mujib as spinners, and then yeah, we discussed their their batting, which is really well balanced. So yeah, um, again, I'm not sure about some of the other players, some other hidden gems, Matthew Potts, Matthew Fisher, Fisher. <laughs> Matthew Potts, Matt, Matthew Fisher, both are medium pacers. Um, Harry Brook is another one. Ben Rain, I think, would be my surprise package. Um, he's quite an experienced uh, player uh, in yeah. the county circuit, and he's got some decent T20 stats. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd probably say that Ben Rain is is um, is the yeah. surprise package in that team. Um, but yeah, again, very strong team. It's yeah, it's difficult to say. You know, not out so far. All three teams are looking decent, but yeah. you know, probably I'd say Northern Superchargers and Trent Rockets looking. Quite sure. Yeah. Uh, and then moving on to yeah, I think who've been un- impacted the most by changes. Um, yeah. And I think for me, they're probably the most imbalanced team. If I look at it, very yeah. batting heavy, and then I really hardly recognize any of the bowlers to be honest, except for KS Ahmed, who's 16, yeah. 17. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, I don't really recognize. I mean, Jimmy Nishan's going to be there for a few games. Yeah, you've got you've got Liam Plunkett in there, so some experience yeah. there, and Jake uh, Ball, but Jake Jake Ball, some experience there as well. Uh, David Payne got picked in the ODI squad as well against Pakistan. Yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't get a game, so something there. But I mean, forget forget the bowling. Look at the batting. <laughs> I don't know why Oli Pope is in that team, <laughs> but, but 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 obviously forget, you know. Let's ignore. Let's ignore Ali Pope, but just look at that top order, right? Johnny Besto, yeah. Tom Banton, Ben Duckett, uh, Glenn Phillips, uh, Josh, Josh, Josh Cobb is another hidden gem there. He's yeah. a very, very strong county performer. Again, very good strike rate in the first couple of balls of his innings. So very good there. Glenn Phillips is Glenn Phillips. very strong. Jimmy Nisham, Hatchman, sorry, Nisham in there. Um, so I think the batting looks really strong. Yeah, the batting is pretty strong, but again, that's I think it's very imbalanced. I think the bowling, yeah. I'm not too convinced. Uh, I think a lot, lot relying on on Plunkett, who is probably past it. Yeah. And Kes Hemad, who is probably not there yet uh, in terms yeah. of experience. So, yeah. um, but overall, I think a yeah, decent, a very good batting lineup. So maybe they're going to be the ones you know who will probably chase most of the time when they can. And uh, yeah. Um, let's see. But I think they, they had they've had yeah. to no, that go through good. some changes. Yeah, true. Um, so yeah, that was our quick summary of of the first four teams in the hundred. Uh, watch our next episode where we review the where we review the final four teams and we pick our winner for this interesting tournament. 
hope you enjoyed that episode and as always please do like share and subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments what you thought about all our episodes how we can improve our content and anything else you'd like to see thank you for watching thank you